message to parents from feature message to your parents from your kids available for you right now. Alright, dear parents, we have inherited this world of ours from you. You've known for a long time that things were not going to do not, not going to be well. And yet you proceeded to continue to do all the damage to the world, and here we are. This coronavirus is something that has a lot to do with the way that you treat animals. Animal consumption and animal exploitation. You've known for some time that this is not a good idea. You've had three other diseases, very similar, and within the last 20 years that have caused lots of harm, but has a lot to do with the way that we treat animals. Why do you proceed? I'm afraid. This is the world that you've created. You've created disruption in my day-to-day -day life. I don't know what my future means anymore. I don't know what's possible. This is one of many more things that can go very wrong if you do not change the way you are behaving. The next thing is our oceans. You're overfishing our oceans. Eventually, this is going to lead to a collapse in our fishery. And that's a chain reaction all the way up through our food supply chain that I will feel someday. Third, there is a possibility that there could be a dirty bomb that will explode sooner or later, or a nuclear bomb. You have amassed quite a lot of technology or shall I say, uses of technology that can lead to catastrophe globally. And yet, you've done very little and continue to proliferate these damaging weapons. Why do you do that to me? Four. Some of you believe that climate change is not a real thing. My oceans are getting higher. The amount of land available for me to live on has decreased. Crops that once grew in abundance that I needed for my own day-to-day -day has become things of the past. There are wars that are going to be fought because we cannot feed ourselves. The cost of bread has gone up. You've contaminated our waters with your fracking for wealth. You've left us abandoned with very little to drink. And now not only are we hungry, we cannot even drink water. We cannot take care of our health because we have no uh, clean water to drink. You've known for some time that there's a possibility that there could be an asteroid that can hit our planet and end our lives, create enough havoc similar to the way the dinosaurs have gone. And yet, instead of spending your time and your energy and your wealth in creating a global network of satellites to protect our planet, you've ignored that. And every day, every year, I wait for that moment for an asteroid to hit our planet and destroy us. What have you done? Nothing. Why do you proceed to do this to us? We are the future. We want to have a bright future. What are you going to do? The question is, what are you going to do? Are you going to change your behavior? Are you going to create a better world for us? You're lucky that this coronavirus is not more deadly. Because if it was more deadly like the MERS, there would be 60% fatality, and there would be a lot less of us across the board. 
This is a warning. This is a wake-up call. We need to find some sort of way to redefine the way we think of ourselves as a group, as a friend, as a community. It's no longer you versus them. There are too many of us now for that kind of thought. There's seven plus billion of us, almost eight. Time is running out. We live on this node of connectivity that when one person does something, it ripples effect all the way through the entire planet. And there's no more like 100 crazy people. There are now 1 million crazy people with lots of influence and power. And you can change things. You can make this world a better place. And you can make that choice. That's what you can do for us. The future is in your hands. Please do not take this message lightly. A lot depends upon it. And if you care and love me, the planet, and all its organisms, change your mindset. Get rid of the ideas that you are, uh, you are them and they are they. For we are together, and that is so much more important. And the sooner we understand that, the problems of them will become the problems of us. And that's the reality of the world that we live in. Ubuntu, I am who I am because of who we are. See you next message. And again, think about the future. Think about the kids.